Welcome back everyone to another reaction video. Well, this is actually going to be the second reaction video that I've recorded today. I recorded one a little while ago. A lot of you have been requesting horrible histories. Uh, and so I recorded uh, a reaction to their Monarch song, which immediately got banned by the BBC when I uploaded it. So you'll never get to see my reaction, unfortunately. It was about a half hour long video of me reacting to that, talking through all the Monarchs, but it got blocked. It won't let me even make the video live, even without ads. So sorry about that. Doesn't look like we're going to be doing any horrible histories anytime soon. That stuff's all been um, banned from being reacted to. So... With that in mind, we're going to go to Plan B, which is going to be Epic Rap Battles of History, Vlad the Impaler versus Count Dracula. Uh, as I mentioned in the video you'll never get to see, I went to the Sabaton concert last night. I've got my brand new tour t-shirt that I picked up. It's pretty cool. It's got Joachim, the uh, lead singer, as the Statue of Liberty with all the tour dates on the back. It was a fantastic concert. Later today, I'm going to be uploading a video uh, kind of showing our experience, talking about what it was like, uh, showing you some of the highlights of the concert itself. Fantastic stuff, and we're grateful to Sabaton uh, and their record label for providing us with those fantastic seats for that concert. So uh, let's go ahead and dive into this one. Uh, this is coming right off on the heels of of doing the series on the historic Vlad III uh, of Wallachia, uh, who uh, ruled that nation for small, brief periods of time. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look and see what uh, this one's like. Imagine forests of corpses dripping on a buffet. You call that a nightmare, I call that a Tuesday. Vlad Dracula, spawn of the devil. Dipping my bread in your weeping blood vest. So, uh, the name Dracula actually means son of the... In Romanian of the time. 15th century Romanian, it meant son of the dragon. His father was Vlad II, Vlad Dracul. Uh, he was known as Vlad the Dragon. So Dracula, uh, which I think actually was um, Draculea at the time, but now in modern Romania, it's Dracula. Uh, and the house eventually became known as the House of Draculesti. Uh, but the, over time, the word has changed meanings. And now in modern Romania, it actually means uh, the devil. Uh, but yeah, there's this... There are a lot of what people say about Vlad. You have to separate the myth from what actually happened. And there's unfortunately not nearly enough information available to us to know what was myth and what was real. But there was talk of him dipping his bread in the blood of his enemies at one point. That kind of stuff I tend to think probably didn't happen. Um, now, the whole thing about forests of impaled people definitely did. He impaled like 20,000 during one campaign. Uh, so that absolutely did happen. So, scorch the earth from hungry to Wallachia. I inspire fear, you inspire Count Chocolate. <laughs> the Turks and the body started dropping. Put my foot on ottomans like I was furniture shopping. So, if you didn't see the series on uh, Vlad the Impaler, uh, Wallachia, which is, I believe, about as close as I can get to the pronunciation as it should be, um, is kind of caught in the middle of Austria and the Ottoman Empire. Christian Austria, Muslim Ottomans, Wallachia is right in the middle of all of that. Uh, and so they're constantly kind of going back and forth. They're small. They've got to, got to have a big brother, right? They got to have somebody that they can uh, count on. And so depending on who's in charge, they would kind of constantly go back and forth between allying themselves uh, as a buffer state of the Ottomans or a buffer state of the Austrians. And eventually Vlad uh, goes to war with the Ottomans and he eventually loses that and dies. But the Ottomans become his eventual enemy. I save my stakes, no need crucifix. I kill you with Olive Garden, garlic bread. <laughs> Soldier, men, women, and children like cows. Put more meat on swords than Fogo the Chow. Okay, I'm not familiar with that name. We're going to have to look that one up. Okay, I, we don't have these in Ohio. Uh, Fogo de Chao is a Brazilian steakhouse. I did not know that. There are 57 locations, so that's pretty pretty random, pretty like localized thing there. If there's only 57 locations uh, in the U.S., Brazil, Mexico, and the United Arab Emirates. There's one in D.C. Uh, never heard of them before, so that's cool. I did not know that. 
Does this mic still work after that blah blah blah? Check one, two. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> the facts of a real spirit princeling can't vex me Cause I nibble necks and I make it look sexy I'm universally known for intrigue and desire I shape shift into mist and bone when all the rider <laughs> So when Ona Ryder plays one of the love interests of one of the Dracula is, is one of those characters that have been done so many times By so many actors over the years uh, Since Bram Stoker wrote his book in the 19th century uh, part, partly inspired by Vlad the Impaler, but probably also informed by some things that were happening uh, in London and in the northeast of the United States. There were these vampire scares where people were dying of consumption, possibly um, tuberculosis. And there were actually these scares in the 19th century where people thought that uh, people who died from consumption when they were buried, they were coming back and giving the disease to other people. Uh, and so they would dig them up and they would behead them or they would burn their organs and they would do all these things trying to prevent vampires. Sleek hair, pop collar, and a damn nice cake. Well, you've got less taste than an Anne Rice cake. Your <laughs> Anne Rice. Uh, as a famous author uh, in, in the modern times uh, and talking about rice cake. If you've ever had a rice cake, I had to eat a lot of those growing up. I had a lot of health problems and strict diet. The caramel ones they have now are pretty good, but for the most part, rice cakes basically had no taste at all. Be like I leave vascular systems. I grant you the privilege of being Dracula's victim, but the thought biting you makes me get nauseous you don't look like the type that's keen on neck washes did you shift <laughs> those punchlines? because they missed it feels like your reflection it doesn't exist so yeah uh one of the uh traits of a vampire and one of the ways you could identify them would be they didn't have a reflection in the mirror turn your taint to a tiz when i put a stick through you uh, okay so uh, taint is the area between your front and your back down there that's the most gentle way i can describe it and when they impaled people they were typically alive when they were impaled and they were impaled up through the bottom and it would come out somewhere in the top and they would die slowly it wasn't like they killed you on the battlefield and then stuck you on a pole See that sucker this soft It's Pericula It's beat by Count Dracula You're smoking Cracula <laughs> Dunk on your wackula Raps like I'm Shacula Okay, that's pretty Fly good Fly to the bone Fly the hot nailer Fly the commits Hit his axe on rat As the jailer You leached my name You pale son of a bitch And your weak ass gets beat By the sun at the beach you <laughs> Another thing with vampires is they could only come out at night, they can't be in sunlight, it would cause them to burn and disintegrate and things like that. Slick hair and came on all flappy razzle dazzle, but at the end of the day you're a bat, and that's only half a battle. Whoa, I did not know that you could read. That's great. Now let's see if you can bleed. Huh. You thought the sun could kill me? Not true. I'm the vampire so cold, they call me Nosferatu. Nosferatu was one of the names that is used for... Uh, Dracula, uh, so Nosferatu is kind of a play on that. My syllable delivery is devilishly intricate. I rock the house once I'm invited into it. And here's a if you've ever seen the movie The Lost Boys, which is, is pretty good if you're into horror movies, that was a pretty good one. Kiefer Sutherland's in that, some other famous actors in it. But uh, one of the things they talk about in that movie is that a vampire can't enter your home unless he's invited. I don't know if it comes from somewhere else, but I know... That's where I'm familiar with it is from that movie. Tidbit that you can stink a steak up. You're losing so bad. You should join Team Jacob. Oh, Redfield. okay. That's a, that's a Twilight reference. And I absolutely hate Twilight, the twinkly vampire thing. Uh, Team Edward, Team Jacob. All right, let's back up a second here. Losing so bad. You should join Team Jacob. Redfield. Yes, master. Call a doctor. Not so worth it. Because Vlad the Impaler has just been skewered. Oh, see, to me, and I try really hard to not be biased toward the historic characters in this one, but to me, Vlad won that one hands down. I, it, it's not even a debate for me. I feel like 
most of Dracula's stuff was pretty weak, and I don't know, Dracula came across to me as a little cheesy of a character. Vlad, to me, wins that one. In fact, that's probably one of the more one-sided ones for me that there's been so far. But let me know your thoughts. Who do you think won? Uh, do you agree? Is there anything I missed, any particular reference that you want to mention that I didn't uh, observe in that one, or maybe that I missed? Uh, let me know. I'll put a link in the description to all my other epic rap battle reactions that I have done, so check some of those out. And uh, we'll be back later today with my video from the Sabaton concert. Thanks for watching.